All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and don't forget to download the link as I mean the video as soon as we finish. Uh, today, you know, our topic is always about Islam, and you know, uh, one of you asked me, uh, "What is the view or you view, or review of uh, of Islam?" Uh, I will explain it to you. In YouTube, there's videos, it's called Prophet Stories for Kids, made by Muslims. This is exactly how I see Muhammad, and the story is about Muhammad. None of the stories of Muhammad fit for adult mature. All his stories, except the one is about killing and torturing, and, you know, because this is, an, this is a, a very... Uh, uh, you know, I mean, act of an adult, but obviously is not mature too, because the reason he killed four is the same as Bandit, who they are outlaw in the desert, who attack caravans, as, a, as an example. So, which story of Muhammad's story is not a kid's story? Which story Muhammad he came with is not a funny and silly story, which doesn't even convince a kid. If there is any Muslim today who would like to call us, I'm going to open my Skype and feel free to prove me wrong. I believe strongly that Muhammad's stories and Islamic stories about God, about religion, about Muhammad is nothing but a fairy tales and kids' stories. It doesn't even match a brain of a kid. And in order to believe in Islam, you have to kill your brain and have to put it in the side and say, I have no brain. I am not an adult anyway. So if there is any Muslim is willing to show us anything, anything, it doesn't matter really what it is, which is, can be considered not a kid story. This is a big challenge. You know, when, uh, when the Muslims, they say to us, the Muhammadan, Muhammad is the best uh, for mankind. Muhammad is the best for mankind in which way? Is that because of his funny stories, the sun set in murky water, or because Allah, he left up the sky so it doesn't fail on us, or because he's holding the bird so they don't fail down, or because he sent hail from mountains in heavens. So what is, what is exactly they mean? If you are a Muslim and you are listening, please feel free to give me a call in my Skype. And you see, we are different from any others. Like, in, you know, Muslims, they go uh, online and they attack Christians, etc. But they don't dare to have an open conversation. Call me and say whatever you wish. They cannot do that. Actually, if a Muslim want to debate you, he have to choose a topic a month in advance so he can go and print like 1,000 pages about this topic. So he would not be really debating you. He would be reading what he searched for. And this is reality. When the Muslims, they pray to Allah, even their prayer it does not make sense. Look, Allah, he says in the name of Allah, well, he is Allah. So the first word in the phrase there, it doesn't make sense. There's no way that God, he says in the name of Allah, Especially if Allah is a name, it's a personal name. It's just, it's not a word mean God, even though you can say it's mean God in the same time, but it's not a word mean God. The meant of it is the la, the moon God. So in the name of the la, who is the one is talking? You know, I can say in the name of the president, if I am not the president, but if I am the president, I don't say in the name of the president. If I am the king, I you know I will not say in the name of the king unless I am not the king. So we cannot find anything makes sense in this religion. Obviously, the one who wrote this, he is making a prayer supplication to supposedly the one they call him God. His name is Allah, but it cannot be someone who is Allah is talking, right? Quran claim. Key Quran's 39 6 uh, 
Seven proven talking about how baby created in the womb. Can you explain? We will go for that later. Just remind me, friend, my friend. Actually, I wanted Muslims to bring me those uh, scientific miracles in the Quran, not not the Christians. I want Muslims to call me and say, "Hey, I have something to show for you, which is proving Islam to be mature religion, not the kids' stories." It's a challenge. It's not just you know. It's a challenge for any Muslim to show me something. It's not. For kids, this is a religion for kids. Like when Muhammad he received his first, like his first time he met with an angel of God. What happened? A man he came to him and he told him read. Muhammad he told him I do not know how to read. And then the man, he started squeezing him, and he says to him, read. Three times he been squeezed, harshly. Okay, if we ask the Muslims, okay, why the angel he squeezed him, suppose this is, an, this is an angel, why he squeeze him, tell the man he cannot breathe? And why three times? They don't know. What is the difference between Muhammad before being squeezed and after he been squeezed? You see, if we are saying that this one is an angel of God, he is doing what God taught him to do. So the angel, he told me, read. I said, I do not know how to read. The prophet added, the angel cut me forcefully and pressed me so hard that I could not bear it anymore. Okay, what is the purpose of this? Is that a story for uh, for adult or this is a story for kids? Now the angel he keep doing that. The prophet says to him, "I cannot read." The angel says to him, "Read," and he squeeze him again and again three times. Why? Here we go. All the Muslims are listening, and that not even one of them can tell you why because this is a stupid story. This is a stupid story because you have to tell me what is the purpose of this you see if God is God and he's almighty he don't do things for no reason so what is the reason and as always Muhammad have no witnesses for anything happened to him by the way yesterday I have an angel, but it was a female, you know, in my dream came to me and she squeezed me. And thank God she's a female, you know. And she said to me, read. I told her I do not know to how to read on purpose, by the way, because I want her to squeeze me again. I like it. So she squeezed me for the second time, said to me, read. I told her I do not know how to read. She squeezed me for the third time. I said, I do not know how to read. So she keeps squeezing me the whole night, you know. I will never tell her the truth that I know how to read because if I do she might stop squeezing me and the poor lady she like uh, you know like read and I said I don't know, I know how to read do it again and she squeezed me again uh, I do not know how to do it uh, squeeze me again what is that even Muhammad, he did not say to him, why you are squeezed? Stop touching me. You notice the story here. It's about a guy who Muhammad never met. He did not know. Okay, let us say you are sitting in a cave doing camping somewhere. A guy, he starts squeezing you. Don't you ask him, stop touching me? Push him away? Why Muhammad is so much subdued to squeezing? Is he like he used to be squeezed by every man who walked by? So what is behind this story? Any Muslim here have an idea? Was she beautiful? I cannot tell you because you might steal her from the dream. And she, 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 obviously she is sent by Allah to me. And by the way, I noticed about this angel who came to me in the heaven, uh, from, from the heaven of Allah for sure, uh, that she have a special features. Mm-hmm. As you see, she was young, full-breasted. 
Oof, oof, oof. Okay, this is God speaking to mature men. Promise them a grape and women with full breast. This is the mature God. Brother, she was young brother and her breast was full. Brother, her breast was full with what? I don't know brother, maybe yogurt. What is that? So when I say Islam is not a mature religion, Islam obviously speaking to a bunch of kids and those kids they have hormone, teenage. Do you like women with big breast brother? Can I bounce them? Like play like boom, 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 boom. You know, like boxing. You know, like boing, boing, boing. What is this? So I'm trying to find the maturity in the teaching of the mature God. But I don't find mature God. I don't find mature believers. Where is God in this story? If I come to the Muslims and I say to them, yesterday there's a guy, he came to me and he starts squeezing me and say to me, read the Muslim, they will laugh at me, nobody will believe. So why you believe in Muhammad? Huh? Why you Muslims believe in Muhammad, you don't believe in my stories? Yesterday was a beautiful angel and uh, I woke up in the morning, there was nobody, sadly. I mean... What's what's going on? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? You see, we have a small number because we did not announce uh, earlier that we will go live on air because I was making a video and this video will be hilarious. Later, it was, I, it's already done. I, I made it, I, I went live, but in the private video because I'm using Muslim videos. Later, we will post it for you and you guys, you can download it. And please download it and share it everywhere. You would die laughing. Now, who is a Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? And explain to us where is the maturity of the God of Islam? Why the God of Islam speak to us as a bunch of kids who they are hungry in their belly and they are horny in their private part? Where is, where is wisdom? Okay, God is a promise me I will go to heaven. Okay, what I will get in heaven? What is that? And what is the connection between garden of a grape and big boobs and full cup of wine? Is that a bar? Is that a bar? Hmm? This is a bar. People drinking, naked women, a grape in their hands, wine in the cups. As simple as that. Prove me wrong. What is this? There's some pictures I have in the website. I forgot where. Present exactly how it is. But you know what? It's okay. There is something else. Here we go. This is what we are talking about. This is an art. Wine, naked women, boom, boom. Big breast. Shisha. Boys around us. 80,000 little boy. This is heaven. You 
if this is heaven what is hell why the heaven is about about this why does God he concentrate too much about sexual entertainment and wine and drinking and servants which means slavery why my reward no scream no problem I think we have a tornado do you hear the alarm yeah we have a storm I guess yeah I will show you the picture just wait just wait don't rush I'm just trying to find the picture which is not too bad All right. Yeah, this is the Islamic heaven as it is. Let us show it to you on the screen. This is the heaven. Welcome to the night club of Allah. And look at this old guy here. He is sleeping in his back looking at the naked women. What is this? The bar of Allah. In the hadith it says that every Muslim will have 80,000 little boy. Let us find the hadith. Can't you be professional without insulting please? Well why you don't say that you're prophet? He call us pigs, he call us monkeys, he call us infidels, kuffar, nejis, which means filthy. And now, so, so, so are you saying your prophet was not a professional? And no, I'm not a professional. I say it as it is. You don't like it, don't listen to me. What, do you want, you want me to be a hypocrite? Say things which is not what I want to say? I don't do that. You like it, you like it. You don't like it, take a hike. Grab some grape, drink some wine, and take some boobs with you and go. What is the insult? I did not insult. This is a bar. What is this? Those are Sunni hadith. Huh. So you are a Shia. Is a Shia is better? Shia, you practice muta. You Shia, you practice renting women. Renting women. Do you know what renting women? Supposedly he is better, guys. This is hadith. This is Sunnah. We are Shia. Shia is even more horrible. At least, uh, at least the Shia, the Sunni, they did not practice the Muta no more. They give it a different name, actually. They practice it, but a different name. But you Muslim Shia, you practice the Quran teaching as it is. Let us go to the Hadith. Here we go. Give me a second. Supposedly you are better, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let us see. I'm trying to find. Here we go. All right. We found the page. This is your website. And it says here, read carefully. In some works, special term applied to women who participate in muta. Between the brackets here, musta'jara. Musta'jara means rented. A rented women. Muta is a considered as a kind of rental because in general, a man basic aim 
in is in this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of a woman and in return of his enjoyment the women receive certain amount of money or property are you there mr is that sunni or shia now so what i'm talking about it's true it's a bar you go to the bar you grab a muslim girl you ask her how much you charge me for one hour boom boom she said to you ten dollars oh ten dollars will your sister she offer me eight and this is Quran by the way don't show me from random website what about Al Kafi hmm. what about Al Kafi so if I show why well, you don't call me call me do you like to call me <laughs> and by the way this is Quran this is not random website this is chapter 4 verse 24 what random website do you like to call me my friend and I will show you from a no problem what do you say huh Any Muslim willing to call us? I will show you from Al Kafi, from Al Wafi, from Al Dafi, whatever Fafi you like. And this is the other joke of Muslims. The second you show them something embarrassing, they say, don't show me random website. Don't show me random hadith. This is Quran. My friend, okay, we, now we got it. Chapter 39, verse number six. What's wrong with this guy? That's it. You are stuck with it. Just hold. Don't take it easy. Don't you see we are talking about big boobs? Which one is more important now? Chapter uh, 39 uh, 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 or big boobs? Come on, show respect for the big boobs. Even the people there, they will they will shoot me if I uh, start stop talking about the big boobs and uh, talk about the chapter thirty nine. What uh, Quran thirty nine? Come on, this is God talking, my friend, saying rent a woman, rented women, and this is the religion which is supposedly we protect women and we've ordered them to wear burqa okay that's amazing my friend all right all right as long as nobody will you know we will go and talk about the verse which our friend here he mentioned <clears throat> so what the Muslim they told you there's a miracle here there's a miracle okay let us see how this miracle work try not to laugh go here all right here we go this is the verse so what is uh, supposedly the claim my friend the one who says to me explain to me here there's a miracle where is the where is the miracle there? Look what it says. Allah He created you all from single person. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. All right, which means Adam, and then He made him, uh, made for him or from him a wife, and then He sent down for you of cattle eight pairs, only eight pairs. Uh, which mean from every kind of eight kind two all right but this is alone is a mistake 
based on this verse Allah he created only eight kind of creatures and each one of them is male and female is that correct guys isn't it what this verse saying and what are they they are goat male and female cow male and female sheep uh, male and female so what, 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 what what is this this is a big mistake this is a stupid mistake secondly there's many creatures in this earth they have no gender or even some of them they they, they their gender change as, as an example there's the fish the fish there's a male fish can transform into female fish or the uh, or vice versa what is this So if they are saying to you, this is a scientific miracle, this is stupid. Secondly, it says here, he created you in the wombs. It doesn't say wombs. It says he created you in the belly of your mother. The word button can mean stomach and can mean belly. It doesn't say womb. Now, so he created you in the belly of your mother. A creation after a creation creation after a creation three veils of darkness okay so they are saying to you this is a uh, three stages of a creation let us see what they are <laughs> let us go to the hadith <clears throat> islam is a joke my friend read this hadith with me and this is a sahih hadith this is a Sahih Hadith. They cannot say it is weak. They cannot say, you know. Yeah. So all of those is speaking about one thing. What is that? Allah Messenger said, the true, the truly inspired. Uh, uh, so Muhammad is not speaking from his own. This is Allah told him. The creation of every one of you started with the purpose of collecting the material of his body. For 40 days, you see here in the translation, the liars, they did not say that this is a sperm. It says in Arabic, nutfa. Actually, in the hadith here, it doesn't say the word nutfa. So let us make it clear and show it. It is nutfa. Here we go. All right. Here we go. So what is the what is what he is going to be? The truth, the truthful, the receiver, blah, 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 blah. He said the creation of you as a human is gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother. In Arabic, here it says fi button. Button means stomach, not womb. So you are staying as a semen for 40 days as a semen in the belly of your mother this is the this is the scientific miracle is that the scientific miracle what is the guy who asked me about the science so this verse have many mistakes there is more than way more than the eight uh, uh, pairs of animals which means there's when you say eight uh, we are talking about four because eight, which mean two of each. So there are four, four kinds. Secondly, the creation of the baby is very stupid. The semen can live for only maximum of five days. Secondly, you are not staying there as a semen. Who said that, Muhammad? It says you are as a semen in the belly of your mother, not the womb, for 40 days. And then after that, you became a clinging blood. Alaqa congeal the blood this is what the Quran says for a similar period so this is the second stage you are just a blood how we can prove that this is a blood just here we go the same story you see so 
So verily the creation of each one of you brought together in the mother womb for 40 days as a semen, as a nutfa, a drop of semen, and then become a congealed blood, alaqa, a clot of a blood. That's false. So what Muhammad is saying, the Quran is saying too, that you are in the beginning as a sperm, and then the sperm became a congealed blood. And for 40 days, each one of them is a stage for 40 days. 40 days as a semen, 40 days as a blood, and then 40 days as a mudra, and that's it, you are a perfect human being. So three stages, 120 days, and 40 days of them, you are a semen, 40 days of them, they are uh, a congealed blood, and 40 days as a piece of a flesh. Do you see it? So where is the where is the miracle you are telling you know, Why this is confusing for you, my friend, the one who asked me? I know they make videos and they try to fool you, hoping that you are a, a dumb idiot who do not know what is taught. What you know, what what? I mean, this is something we learn in high school. That this is wrong. First of all, the semen will not change to be anything. The semen deliver a message of DNA, and the semen will be dissolved. Not will not will not be something else. It's not the semen will make an egg. The egg is the one going to grow. Do we agree? Do we agree, people? With the, this, what what uh, what we learn? So the semen will not grow. The Quran saying that the semen will turn into something, which is a dead blood. But that's absolutely stupid. Chapter 23, verse number 14. Then we made the nutfa, nutfa, which is a drop of semen, not one semen, a lot, millions of, you know, it's a liquid, into a clot of a piece of a thick blood, dead blood. And we made the clot into a loom of a flesh. That, that's it. That's absolutely false. How Allah is God, He is the Creator, He do not know how the baby is created. Any Muslim is listening? Any Muslim is listening? How this happened? How how such a stupid mistake happened? We are talking about God. Have you read the book of Najdu Nahjul Balagha? Yeah, I read the book of Najjul Balagha. It's a stupid book. There's no Balagha in the Balagha. There's a balaha, or is a balaha. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? They should change the name of the book from Nahjul Balaga ila Nahjil Balaha. Balaha to the Muslimin, ma akthar minha, qulu ameen. No, if it's uh, somebody, okay. Any Muslim would like to call us? I'm not insulting. You said to me, Nahjul Balagha. This is a stupid book. What Nahjul Balagha? And you know, are you saying the book of Nahjul Balagha is better than the Quran? Why well, you don't call me and show me what Nahjul Balagha says so we can love together? Go ahead. Why are you asking me? Did you read the book of Nahjul Balagha? What does that mean? Are you saying you Muslim you write books better than Allah? I'm showing you Allah words. When we show you a hadith from the Sunni, you say this is Sunni. Hadith. I'm showing you Quran. Because it's a stupid book. If the Quran is a stupid book, is Nahjul Balagha going to be smarter? You answer me. Which one is smarter for you? The book of Allah or the book of Nahjul Balagha? <laughs> Thank you, Linda. As Linda, she invited me for a coffee. That's good. Ten dollars. Okay. With ten dollars, I can invite Allah and the angels Jibreel, and we can change all those verses and fix them. Because you can bribe Allah. The only God who, if you give him money, he changed everything for you. Look at this. Allah, he wanted to buy some coffee. So he starts saying, Woman Qardan Hasanan. What? Who is the one going to give Allah a mortgage alone? Who? Linda, she gave me $10. Allah, he want a mortgage. 
And who is the who is the one who will lend Allah a good loan? And he will not multiply for you many times. And look here, he says many times. In different verse in the Quran, he says it twice only. He will multiply only twice, which means double. That's it. If you lend to Allah a goodly loan, I he spent for the cause of Allah to give it to Muhammad, he will double it for you. This is God. Why this God is begging for money? If he is God, he is the one who created all the galaxies. He can send Muhammad a planet full of gold and silver and diamonds. This is God. He's asking, please give us a loan. And the loan for who to Muhammad? In a Christianity, you cannot bribe God. What do you mean if I give me money, I will forgive your sin? Uh, label asking why there is so many weeks in Islam. Islam is because Islam is weak. This is the only excuse. Muslims, they are weak. Islam is, excuse me, Islam is weak. Muhammad is weak. The Prophet is weak. The Hadith is weak. The Quran is weak. Everything is weak. The only one is strong is the American. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of a God? If you give him a loan, he will double it for you and forgive your sin. Can you show the verse where Allah... This is not a verse, my friend. This is not a verse. No problem. We will show you. We will show you. All right. Here we go. This is exist in many books, you know. It says here that Ibn Izar, uh, uh, you know, the, the person who is reporting the story here, it says, "Inna Allah Taala, lma arada an yakhliqa nafsahu, lma arada an yakhliqa nafsahu, khalaq al khayl fa ajraha hatta arqat, thumma khalaq nafsahu min dalik al arq." Now the Muslims, they attack each other as usual, how he say that, how he do that, but it, it's in your books, none of my business. So Allah, he made the horses run before he created himself. He made the horses run, and from the sweat of the horses, he created himself. So Allah is a creator from the sweat of the horse. Now the story is very stupid because Allah, he created, Allah, he made the horses run, and then he created himself. So how he made the horses run if he is not created yet? This is the stupidity of Islamic scholars and Islamic, uh, you know, belief. This is why I say Islam is not a mature religion. It's 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 an immature cult. It's a cult, yes, but it's immature, full of stupidity. And the only way for the Muslim to get away from this, they say, this is rejected, this is not accepted. Okay, well, no problem. And I'm so glad that Allah created himself from the sweat of the horses, not sweat of donkeys. Okay. The second you show anything is embarrassing for the Muslim, they will say to you, this is da'if. This is rejected. This is fabricated. Islam is fabricated, but we are showing Quran. We are showing Quran. We are not showing only, you know. So even Quran, okay, the Quran says that the baby is created in three stages. And Allah, he gave you those stages. Stage number one, you are a piece of, uh, uh, you are sorry, a sperm, a drop of a sperm for 40 days. 
and you are a thick blood for 40 days and then you are a piece of a flesh for 40 days and that's it you are you are, you are completed so what you will say now this is this is we there's no idiot in the world believe that notfa is going to transform which is a, a drop of a sperm the ejac ejaculation of the man will transform into a, be a piece of a blood which is dead alaqa as you see in the muslim transition it, it, itself this is not my actually we can show you the islamic interpretation who is a muslim is willing to call me and we will show you the islamic interpretation for this verse Uh, somebody saying let me show you what the Muslim he said just to show you how to refute Muslims and how the Muslims they give us a hand to expose Islam Where is the comment of this guy? He said that your God he could not save himself from the cross Well, Jesus before they take him to the cross. He said nobody take myself. I lay they said lay my, myself down nobody can take it and he knew who was going to give him up, who was going to de de deliver him. He knew what time. He says to them, you will deny me before be, before, be, before the morning. So Jesus knew everything that he did not run. So did Jesus save himself, guys, from, from, from death? Yes, he saved himself because he resurrected himself from death. And as long as this, this is a proof that God is not God for you, that he could not save himself as you claim, well, according to your religion, Jesus, he saved himself. That's mean he's God. Is it according to you Muslims Jesus he did not die until now so I will go with your logic if Jesus die he is not God according to your logic because he could not save himself if Jesus did not die that mean he is God according to your logic well according to your logic according to your religion Jesus is God for now in heaven he is and he did not die according to Muslims so this is how you prove to us that Islam is immature cult don't have an argument and their argument is against their own you just agreed that Jesus must be God he saved himself according to you he is saved where Jesus is now according to Muslims they say in heaven did Jesus die my friend they say no so if the death of Jesus proving Jesus is not God that mean him not being dying or that or dead that is the same reason we prove him to be God. Who is next? This is why I say Muslims are immature believers because they believe in immature religion. This is a stupid cult. This is a cult will not is not even convincing for a baby baby infant who is doing his poop. Where is the logic of this religion? Where is that? What is the answers? They have no answers. And the second they try to make an answer, they destroy themselves. Who is next? Guys, let us speak smart. I don't want to see somebody saying Quran is made from Aisha Boop, etc. Don't say that. Otherwise, I will block you. You know, say, say something makes sense. I don't want to see a stupid comment in the text. Quran is a stupid, yes, but say the reason, not uh, made from Aisha Boob. What does that mean? Let us, let us speak. We are talking about being mature. So speak as a mature person. When you speak about the Quran is wrong, say the Quran says this, the Quran says that, not just uh, funny words. So where is the Muslim who is going to show us that Islam and Quran and Muhammad and Allah is mature in any way, in any how? It's a challenge. Did Allah reach the maturity of knowledge to tell us about how the baby is created? The answer, no. Because as you see, the answer in the Quran is stupid. Are you going to say the Quran is weak now? We reject the Quran? You're welcome, my friend, uh, Rico. I don't forget to tell my the, your fellow Indonesian people about my book translated to Indonesian language. It is for free. Read it. Then we any, do we have any Muslim want to call us? Anyone? Oh. 
who is a Muslim he is proud about Allah and the knowledge of Allah Allah is all knowledgeable knowledgeable in what in what this is his knowledge here we go hmm anyone the Bible is always have contradiction stop please don't be hypocrite this is a contradiction according to you but it's not according to us you see here I challenge you in your book and I can prove it so look what you just said just to show you guys that Muslims they give us really always a very good answer uh, let us see what is the answer of the contradiction hold on this program doesn't give me the text jump so fast so you lose the track anyway he said that the Bible have many contradictions stop being hypocrite etc and also also well by saying that you just admitted that the Quran is full of hypocrisy guys read carefully the Bible also has contradiction. Did he say also? Did he just say also? By saying also, you admitted that the Quran is full of contradiction. Now you have to prove you're also about the Bible. You cannot. We will get you busted. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing with us that the Quran is full of contradictions. immature immature cult immature followers and look at this logic the Bible also full of contradiction brother okay so now we have two books it's coming from Allah both of them they full of contradiction because according to your religion according to you if this is a book the, the Bible is full of contradiction as you claim well, is it Allah is the one who sent it? Isn't it this is your God and all those verses saying, I am the one who sent the Torah and the Injil? Hmm? I look here at the first translation, confirming what came before it. It doesn't say that. It says, Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi, confirming what is between his hands. Answering like a lawyer, my friend, most of the lawyers are stupid. They have no idea. If I go to a court, the judge will be in, in trouble to, 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 uh, to stop my argument. I have a degree in law, by the way, in case you do not know. So legally, I, I am a lawyer. Or let us say I can work as a lawyer or as a judge in Islamic court, Sharia court. But those, you see, the second you, you join the cult is the same second your brain is dead. Your brain will not function. Who is a Muslim would like to call us, please? Anyone? And please, I don't want people to insult Muslims. Attack the topic. I say Muslims are immature. I prove it. Because you, when you believe in this, you are immature. You believe in immature belief that make you immature because this is your belief now. That's it. You see, the second you say, I believe in this, it's mean I am not going even to think about it. It's my belief. I adopt it and it is going to be my guideline. So if your guideline is immature, that's mean you are immature. So do we have any mature Muslim proof to us that Islam is mature?
Anyone? Call this guy. He is online. Who is this guy? Uh, this is the same stupid kid. We hang up on him. He scream like crazy, right? Yeah, he's a trashy person. We don't want that. Anyone? Where is the mature prophet? He said he will not scream. A Muslim, he he make a promise. Do you do you do you believe a Muslim making a promise? The Quran says to them, lie. Speak to them in a friendly way, but in your heart is this like this. How you can trust a Muslim? Even the Quran says that Allah will not take you accountable for any false oath you take. Is that Quran or I'm making things up? A Muslim, even if he take an oath, saying, I swear by Allah, I will not do this, it's mean he will do it again. Because the Quran says, Allah will not take you accountable for any oath you take unless it's your, he take you by your intention. What is your intention? If your intention is to lie to the Christians, it's okay, that's good that intention. If your intention to lie to your wife, it's good intention. So a man, he said to his wife, I swear by Allah, I did not marry a second wife over you when I went to trip in uh, what, uh, whatever. This is okay because Allah judge you only by your intention. Do you see it? What kind of religion this religion is? While Jesus forbid us even from taking oath, either you say yay, yay or nay, nay, and anything else is from the devil. Muhammad saying not only take oath he is saying don't worry about false oath don't worry about being a liar do you see it is that a weak Quran is that a weak Quran Anyone? Someone want to speak to CP? Okay. So who is a Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim agree that the sperm stay in the belly of the mother for 40 days? And then the sperm transform into a dead blood, thick dead blood for 40 days. And then the blood will transform into a piece of meat for 40 days. And that is the baby. Who, uh, who believe in that? Who agree with this? I think, you know, Muhammad, he was talking about the sperm of Arab men. Because we Arab men, our sperm live for long. I remember my grandfather, he have orgasm. I think it was in the 800. And we found that his or orgasm was growing in the backyard just two, like, two days ago. Yeah, because he was making love to my grand-grand-grandmother uh, in the backyard. 40 days. Are you sure not 40 years? Actually, we are lucky that Muhammad he did not say that women, the man orgasm, actually, hold on, he said that. Do you know that Muslims believe that a woman, she can carry a child? for more than eight and ten years hold on give me a second <clears throat> just to show you we are not making things up this is an official islamic website al-islam wa su'al wa jawab very official scholar supposedly who answer you and they are here to make all the lies in the words so they can refute us supposedly now the name of the title i will i will click and i will change it into english because i don't know if i can find it in english so i have it the arabic one i just search for it so the title name 
the 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 longest period of a woman to be pregnant in Islam. Okay, I will translate in the front of your eyes, from Arabic to English, and this is an official website of Muslims. The fatwa number. Before we go, this is the fatwa number, one four zero one zero three. All right. Click translate. Remember, this is not me speaking. This is the Muslim explaining to us how long a woman she can carry a, a baby from her husband. The title. What is the longest time of a woman to stay with? <laughs> to make it simple, I don't know if the text is clear for you or not. Let us see what they say. Uh, <clears throat> hey, hold on, this one is not is not the one I want. The one is talking about how many years. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Give me a second. This one is not the one I want. Here we go. This is a new article trying, trying to defend. I have the book, it's in uh, Google, but in Google we cannot translate into... into English. Let us see. All right. Let us show you this one. This one will do. This is Tafsir at Tabari. Tafsir at Tabari. Okay, let's do this. I will copy the link, put it here. We take it here so we can translate into English. This is explanation for the Quran saying, Allahu ya'lamu ma tahmulu kullu untha. Allah is the one who knows what every female she have or she carry. And now let us see here. I'm going to click translate. Why is not translating? Where is the option? Oh, here you go. Translate into English. All right. Now the easiest way to find what the topic we're going to read. Maybe translation is not good. I don't know. We will see where it says uh, we are two months, etc. I think this website, because the nature of the design, that uh, I cannot search for the words. See, I'm trying to search. Okay. Uh, 
and trying to find where which part in the page in English we are not getting lucky hold on because it should say somewhere let us see see this website for some reason is not allowing me to search for the words when I try to search it's not showing me like here it says it's showing 10 month but it should say where it says 20, 10 years not 10 month you see here in Arabic in the front of me you see this is in the search engine it says five years a woman she can be pregnant and then and it can be up to 10 years and this is according to the third report but when we go in English in the translation of Google is not showing and this is tafsir at tabari and this is tafsir here uh, tafsir al kabir it says the same that is going to be five years and it's it, it's mentioned that it can be up to 10 years so this is all is mentioned in Islamic books let's try to go here You see the, the 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 this web page is not allowing me to search inside the page so it can go right away uh, but anyway here it says let us see if we can translate this one into English hold on I will take this one and I will translate into English we hope it's going to work let us see okay Give it a try you see you search for the word five okay here we go so a shafi says a woman she can carry a child for five years and then here it says uh, she uh, born in two years okay and Billy of his mother for for four years you see the child can be staying in the mother according to the Islamic scholar up to four years and then they continue it should say 10 years too where is the 10 years like at least in this one we were able to find let us see the word 10 because it should say 10 years uh, for some reason it doesn't show maybe the translation is not coming out but anyway it's for many years a woman she can carry a baby this is why there's a woman she uh, she was accused of adultery in I think it was in Somalia and they wanted to stone her to death but uh, the lawyer he proved to the Sharia court he remind them that a Muslim woman she can carry a child for many years and her husband he passed away just two years ago so obviously she is not committing adultery because this is the son of her husband who died two years ago and this is why they could not stone her to death because she is carrying a baby obviously she is sleeping with somebody after her husband death but because Islam teach such a stupid things so they are stuck with it and a Muslim woman she can carry a baby for a long time those things happen only in Islam as you see all right anyone have a different opinion let me know anyone who don't agree that this is what it says let me know if you speak Arabic I will put it for you in front of you and eyes and you will translate for us anyone uh, actually we can find the same in tafsir al-qurtubi you know here we go this is this is tafsir al-qurtubi let's see al-qurtubi hold on this is the official government website of the kingdom of saudi arabia quran ksu dot edu education all right and this is the serial al to be page number 250 and then I'm going to uh, you know uh, click a translation 
whatever the translation says, we will take it, whatever it is, you know. Give me a second. Here we go. Uh, why it says that? It says translate. All right. So here it is, uh, uh, let us see here what it says. You see this translation is a little bit uh, confusing, a Google translation. I will show in Arabic and I will show in English. Read carefully. Two years according to this, and then three years according to this, and according to the Shafi'i, four years, and narrated by Malik, of his uh, like uh, his uh, book it is five uh, uh, fi five years and according to other etc it is ten years even more than ten years the limit do you see it and this is Tafsir al -Qurtubi. I will I will post the, the, the link in Arabic for those who speak Arabic so you can see and read yourself we are not making things up I mean you see I don't like to mention something without proving it because the first website we show it doesn't really make it clear the second website third website finally we got the al qurtubi so a woman she can carry a baby after her husband die which means a sperm his sperm stay inside her and then the sperm will stay there for 10 years 10 years and this is the knowledge of allah so if you divorce your wife 10 years ago don't be upset if you receive a phone call saying to you come and pay for the bill of the hospital you say what do you mean? I divorced you 10 years ago. She will say, this is your child, you idiot. How is this my child? I divorced you 10 years ago. I have a proof this is your child. What is the proof? You look scary like you. Now, am I saying a lie? Here we go. This is the link of Al-Qurtubi, and this is the tafsir of the Quran by your scholars. Hmm? The Muslim uh, Shia is cursing Abu Bakr. What what the, what I have to do with Abu Bakr? This is what the Muslims they do. Immature religion. They curse each other. May Allah curse Abu Bakr. May Allah curse Aisha. Immature religion. And this is what Muhammad he told them. He cursed people. And here the hypocrisy, he is cursing Aisha, cursing etc. and protect the Christians. You are not a Muslim. Because Allah in the Quran, he says, you will not find one Muslim who is nice and friendly to the Christians. Or those who they are enemy of Allah. So you are a false Muslim. Isn't it the Quran says that? Yeah, the Quran says that. Here we go. This is your Quran. And even Muhammad, he ordered the Muslims to kill every Christian until they pay the jizya or they die. Be aware of the hypocrisy from both Shia and Sunni, but Shia, they practice hypocrisy more. They claim that they love the Christians, but where where, where we can find uh, uh, Ali? He was a big fatty criminal, and this is your Quran. You cannot even be nice and good to your family. Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us and give us some knowledge?
Who is a Muslim? He have some knowledge. Anyone? Who is a Muslim have a great knowledge? They want to prove us wrong. So when I say that this is a religion which is full of immaturity, look at Muhammad here. You will not find anyone who is believing Allah in the last day, making friendship with those who they oppose in Allah. This is the opposite of the teaching of Jesus. When Jesus, <coughs> he was speaking to those who they are considered the bad, bad society in the society. The Jews, they said to him, look, he's talking to who? Look, he's talking to the sinners. He's talking to the bad ones. So Jesus says, I came to the sick. So let us say that those who they are opposing Allah, they are sick and they need help. And actually, this is why Muhammad supposedly is sent. He's sent to save them, right? No. In Islam, no, he sent to kill them. This is why in the Quran you will find Muhammad saying that are you going to guide the one who Allah deceive? The one who Allah deceive, no guidance for him. And this is a proven Islam again as immature cult. Because if the purpose of to send the Prophet is to guide people, and yet you say to the Prophet, are you going to guide the one I deceive? So why you send him then? Right? Why you send them? Why you send this prophet? What exactly the job of this prophet? Why you didn't debate Yasser Habib? Let him call me. If he says yes, you know, just to ask him. He can give me his Skype. I will call him. I will be happy to call him. Why not? Don't tell me why you don't debate this. You don't debate that. <laughs> How many times I said today, just today? Who want to call me? Right? So what I can do more? I chase the guy. Shall I chase them? You're, you're the one you are talking about. They will call the police. They will say Christian Prince is a Christian, and he will claim that I have Islamophobia and I'm harassing him. This is what you Muslims do. So we wait for you. Call us. You are welcome to call us anytime. I don't ask who is the one is calling. I don't care. His name is Yasser Al Habib. His name is Yasser, etc. Who care? Right. Why Imam Ali he killed the uh, line about Christians? Okay, let us see if I am lying about Christians, about uh, Ali killed the Christians. Well, isn't it the Quran says that Allah Prophet he ordered his followers to kill the Christians and the Jews in chapter nine, verse twenty-nine? Did Muhammad he join in the fight or he was sitting in his uh, house in the, Mal the, the, the Maldive Islands. This is the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 29. And according to Yushia, that Ali was one of the mighty fighters in every war. So why are you lying? You want to prove from Al-Kafi that Ali burned people alive. You use Sunni books to prove Ali burned people. Okay. So this is a great example. Look at this. Just to show you that Islam is immature cult. It is immature cult. So Mr. Walid is saying to us, you are proving to us that Ali, he burned people from Sunni books, but you cannot find that in a Shia books. So is that my fault? And the question is, why it says in Sunni books and they are they respect a lot Ali they consider him a very high figure in Islam he's a caliphate and he is the cousin of the prophet and he married his 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 his, uh, his his daughters so why the Sunni will say that they hate Ali they cannot say that 
So what you say to us, proving to us again that Islam is not a trustworthy. What you are saying to me that we Muslims are are, are people who lie about our own people. Because if this is a false law story, that's mean you Muslims, all of you, doesn't matter Shia or Sunni, you lie. The Sunni they say the Shia lie, the Shia they say the Sunni lies, and the end of the day, both of you are liars. Thank you very much. Correct people. This is what his argument is. The Sunni are liars, and the Shia they say uh, the, the, the Sunni they say the Shia are liars. But at the end of the day, both of you are liars. Any Muslim? Who is next? Immature religion have immature answers. I did not see until now one smart Muslim made answer made by a Muslim. Not even one Muslim. He proved to me that he had mature belief and mature brain and mature religion. But why they will have one? Their God doesn't have mature religion or mature brain. The God who promised me a cup of wine and cup of silver, cup of gold and cup of silver. Have you ever heard of a God? Promise me I will have a pillow. Why? Why God is promising me a pillow? What is that? Any Muslim have an idea? This is heaven. I will have a pillow. brother we will be reclining in our pillows brother hey brother what is that we are going to wear a green garment brother made of fine silk brother this is heaven and look at the funny translation A brother, I will wear a brother, a bracelet made of gold, brother. This is heaven. Is that a mature God or this is a kid trying to tempt me to go to uh, Las Vegas? What is this? What is this? Anyone? Why I don't accept your challenge? Aren't you the one who called me yesterday, Mr. Wari? Aren't you the one who called me yesterday and you lie, you claim that you speak Arabic and we give you nice spanking? Isn't it this is the same guys? The same one guys? From yesterday? Your video is all over the internet. You became very famous. Go and watch what happened to you yesterday. What challenge? Prove to me, Ali, uh, people alive from Al Kafi. Ah, prove to me from Al Kafi. Ah, okay. So now your book, you are saying to me that. Islam is not perfect unless there's a guy he came after 2,000 years and he wrote a book, it's called Al-Kafi. Before that, Islam was garbage. Your guideline is not the prophet words, is not the hadith of the prophet, is Al-Kafi. Thank you. <laughs> the mullahs of Iran and the mullahs of Iraq is the one who tell you what happened even though they never been there. Why the writer of the Kafi was there too? What year Al-Kafi was written? 
the one you like very much <laughs> I say to you this is immature religion and the followers are immature people right no my friend I do not need to fool the, to prove the point because simply the Quran says go and kill them wherever you find them and Ali he had to obey the order of Allah so what you are trying to say to me well you cannot prove to me from this book I want this book this is a, not a restaurant menu and I am not your waiter we prove that Ali he burned people and we use Islamic books and Islamic books only here we go you're a prophet he burned and this is very normal of him and then let us see uh, where Ali here we go this is your prophet he ordering to burn and to attack burn their place and attack their place but let's see where where Ali he burned people alive Here we go. Ali, this is Sahih al Bukhari. Ali burned some people, and the news reached to Ibn Abbas, who said, Had been I in his place, I would not have burned them. As the Prophet said, Don't punish anybody with Allah punishment. Do you see it? But Muhammad himself, he said in the hadith, he was going to burn Muslims for not going to pray in Friday prayer. But he remember what happened to Ibrahim and he decided not to do so. So did Ali burn people according to your books? Yes. The question why you Muslims write something if it's not true. Hmm? And this is another hadith, Jami al Turmudi. Saying the same story. I think this guy is just uh, I don't think this is the same guy let's take take a hike I don't think even he's a Muslim who is next who is next we don't accept this hadith who care if you accept it or not I don't accept it too I don't accept the Quran. I don't accept Muhammad. <laughs> I'm just showing you the stupidity in your books. So you don't accept it. This is a good sign. That's mean you are you start using your brain, which is very unique. I mean, you are a Muslim and using your brain, something wrong. Right? A Muslim using his brain that's very that's a that's a that's a good uh, improvement I don't know you maybe you need to see a doctor or something who said I accept any of those stories I don't accept I don't believe it I think maybe Muhammad he wasn't exist we do not know because who is Muhammad you see if the Muslim they say we have the Quran the book of guidance okay the Quran says a guy his name is Ahmed one time and one he says Muhammad sometime he say Mustafa so who is Muhammad we don't know who is the father of Muhammad we don't know where Muhammad was born we do not know what kind of book this book is look the Quran mentioned the name of Muhammad only five times and none of those five times it says who is this guy Muhammad nowhere how this book can be a book of guidance Who is Muhammad? Where was Muhammad? Any Muslim have an idea? We don't know. They have no idea.
Anyone? And then now we did not get one more stems who want to call us. No, in China, my friend, if I am in China, I cannot use Google. In China, you cannot use Google. I tried many times in China to use Google. And if you try, actually, you will be in trouble. Let us see. Maybe we have a Muslim calling. I hope so. Hello? Hello? Okay, don't wow. open your camera for me if you want to call me. Let me call you back. Don't open the camera, please. Call declined. All right. What we can do. <clears throat> Maybe he's trying to call. Let's try one more time. I hang up. I thought it's not going to work, and then suddenly it worked. Let us try again. See how much we are desperate to talk to our Muslim? We cannot find them. It's not working. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? <clears throat> Khadija was the first feminist fighter. <laughs> yeah, but Khadija, she had three husbands. Is that what feminists do? Those feminists, you know, the, the, this is a depend what what the whether this uh, like what people mean by this word. If 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 uh, if that word means defending women's right, I support it. If this uh, verse mean don't do violence against women, I support it. If this uh, I mean statement mean uh, women she should have equal wages like men, I support it. But if it means something stupid else, that's nothing to do with me. All right. When the Jews, they came to stone a woman, chasing her, and they want to stone her to death. Jesus, he supported the women, and he said to them, to those hypocrites, if one of you without sin, throw your stone. So Jesus defended women and women's rights. In the same time, he shows the Jews that they are hypocrites. Where is the guy who did commit adultery? You are going after the women? Where is the man? Yeah, properly, the man is a very rich person, and they don't dare to go after him. So they go after the women alone. Right? Now, do we have any Muslim want to say something to us? Anyone? <clears throat> I don't care really. Shia, Sunni, both is the same. It's a, it's two coins, a two faces of, of one coin. And both of them, they are, they have a, a very, actually the Shia, the Shia is a lot easier to defeat as a cult because the Shia, they have tons of stupid stories. You know, their God, Ali, he told them that if you wear black shoes, your private part will not function. And if you wear a yellow shoes, your private part will be a hero. 
if we show you what the Shia teach, you will die laughing. It's a comedy show. It's a standalone comedy. The Shia believe that Ali and Muhammad and the family of Muhammad, they are not a human. They are stars from the forehead of Allah. They look like a human, but they are not. They are made of light. And what is the proof of that? They go to a verse in the Quran. And we can show you the Shia interpretation. There's a verse in the Quran saying that Muhammad is a Siraj and Mudiyan. What does that mean? Muhammad is a light, is a lamp. So from this from this verse in the Quran, the Shia they say that Muhammad is a lamp. He is made of light. He is not a human, and his family are the same. So what the Shia are for those who do not know, the Shia are Muslims who worship Muhammad and his family. They believe they are not a human, even though they took the flesh of a human, but they are made from the light of Allah. This is why they are perfect. Not only Muhammad, Muhammad and Ali and Fatima, the family of Muhammad, and they never do something wrong, and they are not a human. How are you, Mr. Rifqi Abdullah? Are you a Muslim, Mr. Rifqi? Why you don't give me a call instead of saying wrong and false or... What do you think, guys? Do you think Mr. Rifki he will call me? Why, instead of saying wrong, call me and prove me wrong? Is that fair? Are you there, Mr. Rifki? Look what they do. They say you are teaching a lie. You are a liar. But nobody dare to prove me wrong. Call me right now. We are live on air. It's an opportunity for you. Who want to do it? They knew that they, they, they are no match. They knew that I, you see, I will never say something unless it's true. We have uh, somebody texting me. Debate me right now on the spot topic, Muhammad or Isa ibn Maryam. <laughs> we have a fish. Answer, answer. He challenged me to debate him and he declaimed the call. Is making tea now. <laughs> okay, I hope your tea will not take forever. All right, you make tea. I'm going to go and turn. I, I'm making yogurt, by the way. Just let me turn off the milk.
All right. Is our friend ready? No, he's not ready yet. All right. We will give him a moment. Please invite your friends, guys. This guy, he looked like he is excited and he want to debate me. And uh, he said, which one is? Isa, the son of Mary or Muhammad? I don't know what does that mean. We will find out. <laughs> invite your friends. Invite your friends. Call me the time. <coughs> well, one minute is over. All right, anyway, forget about him until he calls us back, no problem. So, you see, the Muslims, they are so excited when they call me. But after, there's an aftermath. After they call me, there's a different story. Let us see if this guy, if, they, if he call me, he will leave Islam or not. The one who is challenging me and he think he have something good. Let us see. Invite your friends. And this guy name Saleh Al Muhammadi. Maybe he is a Shia because usually such a tone of Muhammadi is a Shia stuff. Al Muhammadi. All right. I don't know if he's a Shia or Sunni. We will see. If he curse Ali and Abu Bakr and Aisha, he's a Shia. <clears throat> Call me Yahoo. Harry, you are a Muslim, Harry? Mr. Harry, you are a Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to join us in the conversation? Yeah, the Muslim, they give this like because why they will like it? Actually, it's an insult to me if the Muslims like it. It's mean I'm doing a bad job. You see, when the Muslims, they say to Christian Prince, if, if that day come and say we like what he do, it's mean Christian Prince is no good no more. Uh, no, the video is already done. <clears throat> I did not post it yet. I will post it in a different uh, link. So later we will update you in Patreon. What happened to this guy? Let's give him a call. I'm not going to wait for him forever. Otherwise, I will block him. <laughs> Like maybe he's a kid. Maybe. Yeah. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Please call Hussein Hashimi. Why? Why? Hussein Hindawi. Okay. Who is this? Why you don't ask him to call me? You see, I don't know those names you are talking about. I don't know who they are, what they do. I had never heard of them. As long as you know them, tell them, can you call me? And that's it. They can call me. Challenge them. Says, can you call this guy? Can you call Christian Prince? And then we will see. Hey, Husni, 
if you keep repeating that text in the chat I'm going to block you anyone who will spam the text you are cursing Abu Ali cursing uh, Abu Bakr or Omar fine but if you repeat that that's me I don't I don't have time for cities uh, you know don't do that uh, I will block you I don't care you are cursing who Abu, uh, Abu Bakr or Omar or Aisha none of my business but you see here this is a place for mature people I will give him one more call if you don't answer I will block him let us see all this time making tea I send him a warning if you don't call in a minute I will block you no time for kids all right he says two seconds let us see the two seconds how long they will be two seconds hmm. Islamic second <clears throat> If you ever live in the Middle East, they say to you, anything you use, like you call the electric company, we don't have electricity. They say, inshallah, we will fix it tomorrow. Tomorrow come. Next week come. Next three weeks come. This is Islamic, inshallah. We have a hole in the street. There's many kids. They fell down and die. When you will fix it? Inshallah, we will fix it next week. Next week, go. Next year, go. Three years, go. Four years, go. And it's still the hole there. But Inshallah still is the name. This is why in those countries, nothing is accomplished. Because everything is based on Inshallah. Inshallah, my brother, the whole country immigrate to Europe, brother. They are crossing the ocean. There is no food. There is no school. There is no business. There is no money, brother. Inshallah, Allah will send money. Hmm. Yeah. And by the way, even Allah, he say, inshallah. Have you ever heard of Allah, a God, he say, inshallah? What's wrong with this God? Even him is infected with inshallah stuff. Huh? Any Abdul? Who is going to call us? Here we go. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Allah Fakahani, ya basuka matatani mucho untenaga. <laughs> Are you reading Quran for us? The F word? That is the Quran? Finding a quiet place, you wait for me. Here we go. Immature cult, immature religion, immature followers. Man. I told you, they give me a hand, they, they prove me right that this is a stupid religion. This is officially a stupid religion. You cannot defend this cult. Can you? You cannot. Who can prove me wrong?
אני מוסלם? I don't know what he says. He did not speak. I don't know. He said the F word and the rest. I don't know what language he's saying. Maybe Somalian. Garbage in, garbage out. If their God is good, they will not speak anything but good. From their fruits, you shall know them. Now, we thought we have a debater, so it turned to be nothing. So who is a Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muhammad and he like to call us? So let us make it clear. Islam is immature religion. Promising us immature promises. The God who come with this, he cannot be a mature God. Speaking about a flying carpet, a bird looking for women, an army of chickens. This is going to be God. Have you ever heard of a God believe and teach that a man, he die in his, in, he, he dies standing and he is a king. And nobody notices as he's dead for almost a year. Why? Because he was standing holding his stick. Brother, are you sure, brother? Brother, this is absolutely true, brother. If you go in chapter 38, verse number 34, it says that Suleiman, you see between the bracket, this does not exist there, all right? Suleiman, he was left on his chair as dead man. And nobody noticed that he is dead. Let me show you the interpretation for the verse. So Muslim will not say this guy is making things up. Chapter 38, verse number 34. Hold on. Thirty-eight, thirty-four. <clears throat> All This is the book of Ibn Kathir. This is the Muslim website. As you see, nothing of my own. I am not giving interpretation for the Quran. This is how the Muslims, they consider them scholars, explain the Quran for us. And this is a story about Suleiman. And here in the story, that Suleiman, you know, he have a bird, and the bird, he found a woman. She have no hair in her legs. And then uh, he told him that this woman, you know, her people, they worship the sun. And I'm going to have... Uh, uh, you know, this guy like the bird reporting to Suleiman, and then one of the Afrit, Afrit is a genie who is very fast, very fast. So this Afrit he says to the to Suleiman, uh, if you want, I can bring you the throne of this woman by the blink of an eye. You don't even need to move your yourself from your chair. Inna Afrit and mina jinn. This is Muhammad now here speaking about the same Afrit. The same Afrit, the one who was serving Suleiman, is the same Afrit. He's very fast. He come to Muhammad when he was praying. And Muhammad, he tied him, him to the column of the, of the mosque. And as usual, Muhammad, he freed him before people show up so nobody will see him. <laughs> I do that every day, right? And then Muhammad, after he tied the Afrit in the pillar of the mosque, he said, oh, I remember what Allah he says about Abraham, so I let him go. All right? Now let us see, where is the interpretation for this about Suleiman? This is why we open this website here. It doesn't say anything. We tried Suleiman, meaning we tasted him. What is that? And then we placed on his throne, Jasad. What does that mean? Okay. After he this test, 
he turned back to him and asked for what is what is the interpretation for that what, what what is this let us go and open a different interpretation hold on this is Ibn Kathir, but in Arabic is different. In Arabic, have more details. In English, they take a lot of details out of of the comments. Let us see other website in English. Al Tafsir. Okay. We hope it's going to work because this is the uh, the government of Jordan website never work. You have to get lucky to make it work. All right. Maybe today is our luck our lucky day. Okay, hold on, hold on. Maybe let us see. Here in the story, just to show you this story, according to Jalalain that we certainly tried Suleiman, which means Prophet Solomon, according to Islam, you know. Uh, we tested him by worsting his kingdom from his from him because he had married a woman, uh, which is, Allah did not approve, supposedly. She used to worship idols in his home without his knowledge. Now, uh, control of the kingdom lay in his ring where where in the ring so the man he have a ring Allah gave him a ring the one who wear the ring he controlled the kingdom and that for sure remind you of the Lord of the ring movie right and by the way this is a true story the Lord of the ring this is a very true story uh, because uh, this ring obviously have a power of Allah and the second you wear this ring you became a king all right and I don't know if you guys you ever saw me wearing that ring because I, I used to have one like it you know yeah the the ring which make you a king this is the ring brother so Allah he gave Suleiman a ring and when Suleiman he wear the ring he became a king true story don't tell me this is immature religion. Don't tell me this is immature belief. Don't tell me this is a kid's stories. Oh, brother, this is a true story. So, Suleiman, he have a ring. And by that ring, he controlled all his kingdom. He controlled the genie, the human, everything. Anything. And when he went to the bathroom, here the story is not shown really. When he went to the bathroom, uh, Shaitan, he came to his wife and he clone himself like Suleiman, which means he make himself appear as if he is Suleiman. Because Suleiman, when he go to the bathroom, he will not take the ring of Allah. It's insult. It's haram. So he take the, the ring from his finger, he give it to his wife. Because he cannot take the ring to it. Let me show you the story. Hold on. Because people, they might say, this guy is making things up. You know what I mean? They, they, they will say, they will say where, where, where he got this from? Where, what are you talking about? Hello, this is not a true. This is not a true, brother. Let us see. All right, we found the story. Thank God. Sometimes you look for something, it takes forever. All right, we got lucky. Look at this. <clears throat> the account of Suleiman, just to make the story short, let us search where the story of the ring is there. Ring. What is the ring? Hmm. 
Suleiman ring had the following inscription purified is the Lord who has controlled the jinn with his words so what the what 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 the Suleiman he have in the ring written purified Allah the one who controlled the jinn with this with his words okay in other reliable uh, uh, tradition is narrated from Imam Muhammad blah 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 okay this says your Imam come to you wearing a dress of Adam a ring of Suleiman etc and he is holding the staff of Moses <laughs> this is a holy butter <laughs> so the Imam of the Shia and the Sunni will come wearing the ring of Adam and he will be wearing the sorry the ring of Suleiman and the, the the dress of Adam and the staff of Moses that's it he get all the power he want let us see maybe we have a Muslim uh, a Muslim is it's challenging me but his name you are a boy I mean your name is a boy you want me to take you seriously take care all right so let us see what will happen with Suleiman. Uh, what is the story of the ring continue? All right. So again, that would ask, oh son, okay, my parents, all right. I'm just trying to find you where the story. You see here they are reporting many stories, but anyway, just to make it short for you. So the man when he went to the bathroom, he gave his ring to his wife, and his wife she gave it to the devil, and the devil he 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 took the 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 look of Suleiman and he controlled. Uh, the kingdom of Suleiman, and then the wives of Suleiman they noticed that this Suleiman, the fake Suleiman, he is so good in sex, which is not right. Something fishy. He never stop. He never have enough. Like Durgan, 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 Durgan. So they reported that to the elders of the kingdom, the ministers, that what happened to Suleiman. Suleiman, he was not like this. He never. This guy, he want to have sex all the time. And this is how the shaitan he discovered that they discover his scenario that he is fake and he is not he is not the true Suleiman. So he threw the ring in the ocean. And then Suleiman, who became homeless after this guy, he stole his ring. He started working in the in the uh, in the seaside as a porter who would carry for you your stuff. So one day he found a guy who bought fish. So he said to him, I can help you. Which mean, you know, I will carry it for you, and in return you give me two fishes. The man agreed, so Suleiman helped him in uh, catching the uh, in the in the catching the fish. I suppose he'll catch it, not carrying only. The fisherman gave him. There's a different story. It says carrying the fish, gave him two fishes as wages, and Suleiman thanked Allah when he cut the fish, opened the fish, he found his ring in the stomach of the fish. And this is how a brother Suleiman became a king. <laughs> and you are saying to me, Islam is a mature religion. Obviously, it's a mature religion. This is a true story. Then he cleaned the fish, he brought it home. The wife became very happy and said, I wish I called my parents, blah 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 blah. And then Suleiman he says, Would you recognize me? They said, no, we haven't seen you at all. Suleiman took out the ring and wear it. And at the moment, all the birds and the genie came to him and become obedient to him. Acknowledge his kingship. He brought his wife along with her parents to the city of Istikar. And then he says, uh, read the rest. By the way, I used to have this ring. But to Trump, he took it from me. 
He told me, give it to me, I will do a good investment for you in return. And me, I trusted Trump. I gave him the ring, which controlled all the genie and mankind in the world. And this is how uh, Trump, he won the election. If you are saying that this is a tr this is a story is not mature uh, story, you are insulting the prophet. You are offending the prophet. You cannot say that. Hmm? Uh, somebody saying how Jesus can be God and he did eat. Um, that's a good question. Well, how God he can be God, but he don't he cannot eat. If God is almighty, then he can do anything. Correct, guys? Just to show you that Islam is immature religion, and they have immature questions. If God almighty, and he cannot do anything he wants, that means he cannot be God. What do you think, people? As long as you say God, he does not change, and this is your statement. Well, Muhammad, he says, Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one you know. So Allah, he changed his shape. And isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he came down to the earth and he appeared to Musa as uh, uh, as what? As a, as, a, as a fire in the bushes. So Allah don't change. Who was inside the fire, which is a blast? This is your Quran. Are you going to say to me this is weak? Take a hike. Did Allah change his shape? Do Allah change his look? Huh? Allah does. Who is inside the fire? Who is a blast? Anyone can tell me? Allah spoke from the tree and he said to Musa, I am your God, Allah. According to the Quran story, the tree is talking. The tree is talking. And the tree is saying, I am Allah. You don't believe me? Read. Any Muslim? Always Muslims, they come to you with the questions, and those questions can be used against them very easy. Just you need to learn how to think deep and fast, and you flip the table upside on them. Are you getting my point? It's very easy. Yeah, give me any question you want. In two seconds, you will find yourself in a sorrow mood. How Jesus can be God? Yet he eat. Well, how God can be God, but yet he cannot do what anyone can do. If I can eat, why God cannot? Is that about the ability? Or this is about the disability? If God is able to do anything, well, he can eat, still he can be God. So what you Muslims are saying, that God, if he eat, he loses his ability. Well, he will go, Jesus, he eats, still he can raise a man from death. <laughs> your God cannot Jesus he eat but yet he can make the blind see without giving him medication he create eyes for him Allah cannot prove it to me show me one miracle of Allah
the God of Mary, he can make Mary have a child without having a boyfriend or a husband. The Quran says that Allah, how can Allah have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? How can he? So Allah is questioning the ability of Allah. Allah saying, he cannot be God. Because simply, how can he? How can, who is the one saying, how can he? Is that me? No. I don't say that. How you say Allah? He have a child and he don't he how can he? Do you see it? And the second Allah he says, How can he? That's mean he cannot. He cannot what? He cannot have a child unless he have a wife. But look, in the same book it says that Mary, she have a child, but yet she have no husband. This is a story Muhammad he stole from the Christians, adopting it, accepting it. That's mean that we cannot have the same God in this book. Or at least in those two verses, one saying that Mary, she can have a son without having a man. She is a pure woman. And one verse saying Allah cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So if the same God who made Mary carry a child is Allah, then who is the one who's talking here? Are you getting my point, guys? Do you understand what I'm saying? If this is the same God, the same God who made Mary have Isa, as they call him, then how he can make Mary have Isa without a man, but he cannot make himself have Isa without a, without a woman? That is a total contradiction. And notice he is it questioning the ability. But who said that God, our God, he have Jesus because he had a girlfriend? <laughs> that is a stupid statement, isn't it? We Christian, we don't believe that Mary, she have sex with God and they have a son. He is the son of God. We don't believe in that. So this is another example of the stupidity, immature answers, immature logic. If the Quran trying to say Allah, he don't have children, then the Quran fail to give us the correct answer because you do not need to say how Allah can have a child when he don't have a girlfriend. He don't even say a wife, by the way, in Arabic, it says sahiba. Sahiba is not a wife, it's a girlfriend. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Notice we have 37 dislike. We have only 1,000 like. Muslims are upset. Right? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim is a brave to call us. Shall we go later, guys, at night today? Who think it's a good idea to go live? You know, today I made actually three videos. I'm I'm making videos since the morning, actually. So I made three videos. Each one of them is one hour. And then I go live now. And then I don't know if we should go, if my voice is still helping me, uh, I might go live at night too, which is going to be morning for those who are in Indonesia. So I will do my best if I can go live, you know, but uh, my throat is hurting me. Uh, but, you know, I mean, maybe we can save some of them. I am talking to a Muslim now and I need to know where it says Muhammad can marry the wives of others. Okay, well, no problem. This story is about Zainab bintu Jahsh, Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. Jahsh is the last name, donkey. So we are not insulting, this is what it says. So the Quran says that when Zaid, in a very rude language, when Zaid, he finished his joy with her, sexual joy, 
chapter 33 verse number 37 uh, remember when they when when you say to him Zaid who him Muhammad sorry Muhammad said to Zaid uh, you know uh, this is all is a by the way translation is what free slave and what it has changed the translation the story is full of additional things in the translation let us go to different Abdul This is Yusuf Ali. So the story here reporting that Allah saying to Muhammad, do you remember when you say to Zaid, keep your wife for you? But you are afraid to hide what is in your heart, which Allah was about to make uh, manifest to you. Look at this. There's a God he is saying to his prophet. Why you are saying to the man who is married to Zainab, Keep your wife when Allah told you I will give you this woman which mean the Quran saying Muhammad is a liar and he's a hypocrite and the story here reporting that Muhammad he went to the house of his own son Zaid and he flirted with the wife and after he flirted with the wife he flirted with her with a loud voice he flirted with the wife with loud voice and the women she reported that to her husband then the husband he came to Muhammad he says to him a prophet allow me please I don't want this woman fi nafsiha kibar she is really she don't I cannot handle her she is so proud about herself she is a bad person if she is a bad person why Muhammad want to take her and why Muhammad he flirt with her how a prophet of God he flirt with the women who is not his and then in the interpretation of the story it says that the prophet he have a privilege and the privilege contain many things one of them if the prophet eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet he can have her immediately and this is the official Islamic government website of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia as you see Quran you see here we go this is Quran dot KSU education I don't know if you can see the link clear do you see it this is not my website I have nothing to do with it this is official government website and this is what we see in the front of our eyes our, our eyes I will translate this uh, website to our to English you see uh, like sadly I don't have the, the book in English so I can show you what it says in English. So the only solution is to use Google Translation and whatever Google Translation says, we will go with it. Translate. All right. Muhammad, he have a privilege. There is 19 a privilege about the Prophet. 19 privilege. Here, I don't know if we can find the story. Um, let us see if Google will come with the right translation. Let us see. I don't want to read the whole page in funny translation. Hmm. Um, Maybe we can find a keyword because until now I don't see anything really good for me. Oh boy. You see, it take a lot of work to find things, and this is why I, I wish, like you guys, you speak Arabic, because that will make it easier for me. My page here, for some reason, is frozen. I cannot. I don't know what's happening. All right. Uh, we search for the word husband because here we will show you where it says the privilege of the prophet.
what they are talking about, I'm not sure. Look, look carefully. This is Google translation. This is not my translation. It is a stupid translation, but it's okay. It says that if the prophet, if the prophet, uh, let us see where the word eyes, okay. If the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. Let us see if where we can find that. Here we go. Read carefully. Here he's counting for us the privilege of the prophet. All of them are about sex. All of them are about sex. Muhammad, he can have intercourse with the women without permission with her parents. Muhammad, he can have sex with the women without uh, making a legal marriage. Muhammad, he can intercourse without be, being a dowry for the women. And the top of that, if his eyes of the prophet falls onto a woman, her husband must divorce her and he, so the prophet, he can take her and his marriage divorce immediately. Do you see it? This is in Google stupid translation. And this is the link for those who want the link in Arabic as it is. So this is not me saying so. This is their books. They are proud about it. If the eyes of the prophet fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. Do you see it? So how we can be mature people, we believe in such an immature prophet. What kind of a prophet he is, if his eyes fall into a woman, the husband must, the husband must, she is not even a single woman. Do you see it? And you see, we struggle to, to show you the translation. We are using Google translation because sadly, we don't have it in English. You see, many years ago, I used to do, uh, just translate myself everything because we don't have Sahih al-Bukhari we don't have all this website they are not used to be exist at that time the Muslim they used to say he's lying to you this is not that it is saying actually until now they say that and as you see this is the Islamic website of the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia all right and this is a chapter 33 and verse number 50. Is that my creation? No. And all the privilege of the prophet is about his sexual private part or money, as a must. That's it. Now imagine if Jesus said, or somebody said in the Bible that if Jesus, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband, he must divorce her. So the Messiah, God forgive me for saying that, shall take her. I will never believe in the Messiah. I will never accept him as Lord. The reason I accept the Messiah as my Lord, as my Savior, because he is holy, not by name only, but by act. Uh, somebody saying, did you read the whole Quran? No, I did read this, the first page. Anyone really will be proud to be part of this religion? No way. Right? And please, uh, guys, post a nice comment. I mean, be mature. We are talking about maturity. What Allah fart? What, what those people are talking about? Don't do that. Don't speak like Muslims. What Allah fart? What does that mean exactly? Please let us speak as mature people. Please. As the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. That goes to everybody, including the Messiah. Go and see the fruit of the Messiah. Go and see the fruit of Muhammad, and you let me know. I am not a prophet. I don't claim to be any good. May the Lord forgive me for my sin. I'm no one. I am not a priest. I'm not a bishop. I am not. I, I'm nothing. My name is nobody. 
but I will never do what Muhammad did. I will never do not even one percent of the sin of Muhammad. How in the world do you accept him to be a prophet? And look, those things are written in their books, not in a Christian, Jewish, Hindu, like somebody trying to attack. This is in their books. They are proud about him, that he have a privilege. And they are counting for him, counting how many privilege he have. And look, it's all about sex. A woman, she can give herself as a gift. Have you ever heard of a woman, she gave herself as a gift to a man? Take me, baby. Increase of the number of four women, Muslim, they can only have four. Muhammad, he can have unlimited. <laughs> what is this? He can have sex even when he is doing Hajj or going around the Kaaba. He can have sex with the women without permission from her guardian, from her family. All of them is about sex. Look, those are the privilege of the Prophet. He can't take a false oath to his wives and he don't, he is not going to be considered breaking the oath. He can't lie to his wives. In the top of that, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the man, Muhammad, can take her. How in the world this is, can be from God? Uh, this guy Shamsi, we get him busted. We we use his video to get him busted. The same video he posted, I use it as usual. You see, the Muslim when they try to refute me, I use their videos to get them busted, and that's why they don't dare to call me. All what I need from Muslims, call me and say hello. I will use your hello against your God. Just try it. <laughs> this is why the Muslims, they made an article saying how to debate Christian prince. And the article was saying, if he says to you the prophet is good, don't say yes. And don't say no. Because whatever you say, he will, even if he says the prophet was good, he will use it against you. <laughs> don't say yes, don't say no. This is the only way you can debate Christian Prince. Tell him what's your point. What's your point? Because he's afraid to say anything. What's your point? Huh? What's your point? Is the Quran from God? What's your point? Is Muhammad a prophet? What's your point? This is the only way you can debate Christian because whatever you say, he will he will humiliate your God with it. It's going to be used against you. The gentleman who says he was looking for PayPal, we don't use PayPal, my friend. We use Patreon for donation for those who like to help. And thank you for those who they make a, a donation. And remember. Christian Prince, he cannot promise you uh, forgiveness of sin because you make a donation. I am not Allah. Allah is only God in the whole world. If you make a donation for him, he forgive you for your sin and he give you double reward. Christian Prince, he cannot do that. Just remember this. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. He's trying to make people give him money. So he promised them forgiveness. Buy your forgiveness. This is what? Muhammad is about buy your forgiveness God who need a mortgage God who is begging for money right so we appreciate those who support us God bless you for what you do but in the same time remember we promise you no salvation salvation come from Christ not from a Christian prince not from me my friend I am a sinner I'm no one this is Muhammad. We don't do what Muhammad do. Any Muslim? And look in different verses, Muhammad, he says, uh, you know, uh, uh, I will give you, like here he says, I will double it for you. In different verse, Muhammad, he says, I will give you multi uh, reward. Many, many. So what happened? It is two double or it is it is many. Read, read this one. And they who give a loan to Allah, a beautiful loan. There's an ugly loan, beautiful loan, which Allah, by the way, it doesn't say double. This is a false. You see, it says multiple, many times. 
Do you see it? My friends, uh, my voice is getting uh, tired. I will be live on air again. I hope so. I don't make a like. I mean, promise, because th the Lord will you know will 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 let us know what we would do. So mostly, I will go live on air again uh, at night time in USA time, which is going to be uh, I'm, because I'm trying to reach out to people in Indonesia. You know, we were able to create a revolution in Indonesia. You see, those Christians in Indonesia, they are left alone. Their priests don't teach them anything about Islam. They don't dare. Terrorism is all over. And we are blessed with the internet. And I can do what nobody can do. So I'm arming those Christians in Indonesia. This is why I'm really focusing, trying my best. This is why I give my book for free for those Indonesian. And because I know first they are poor, they cannot afford to buy books. And secondly, this is the biggest Islamic country. If we can free this country from Islam, Islam is gone. And trust me, a lot of Muslims from Indonesia are leaving Islam by watching my videos. If I go right now and search for my videos in Indonesian language, you will not believe it. You see, I don't keep my videos in my channel. But if we go in YouTube, I don't speak Indonesian, but I will try to find just to show you, I'll give you an idea. <clears throat> I just searched Christian Prince Indonesia and look what I got 431 K two months ago you know three months ago 167 K uh, so I mean it's 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 amazing how fast and how big the number of those who they are watching our videos It's so beautiful to see that our videos are going out like fire and saving Muslims in Indonesia. I don't hate Muslims. I will never hate them. Our target here is to save them, not to teach hate against anyone. They post the video right away, and after a month or less, you know, you will have tons of thousands watching the video. Very beautiful, especially the one which have subtitle in Indonesian because most of Indonesian they don't they don't speak English. Look, all of those, and there is and they made article against me, even newspaper speaking against me because they notice that a lot of Muslims, especially from Indonesia, are leaving Islam. So thank you, Lord. We are doing great uh, uh, work. And the Lord is helping us, and we accomplish a lot to save the Muslims from what they have. And as you see, we stay here for many hours, keep saying, who's, who, who, who's a Muslim when I call us? But nobody there. And the one who do it, he don't do it again. So I'm happy for what we accomplish, and I hope we will be able to do more and more. I want to say thank you for all those who support us, who download the video, add subtitles, share it everywhere. And thank you for those who make donations. And thank you for every one of you who come here, because this is a blessing from the Lord that we are as a family. On a Christ, we are united. Nothing can divide us. Always you as a Christian, you are, and you are required to fight division between Christians. Anyone who sponsored division between Christians is not doing a Christian, Christian act. He is not even doing a Christ act. Remember, we have one church. It's not called Catholic. It's not called Protestant. It's not called Protest, uh, 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 Orthodox. It's called the Christ Church. We follow Christ. We don't follow a bishop. Never follow a man. Never follow me. Never follow a priest. Never follow a bishop or a pope. Follow only Christ. For all men are sinners. Why you want to follow sinners? The one who follows sinners, he must be a fool. He is a sinner like you. We follow only one person. And anyone who brings the vision between us, he is not serving Lord, the Lord. He said, he know he is a shepherd and he know his sheep. We do not need the name of a church to be known by the Lord. 
from your from their fruits he will know you not from a church name so try to stay away from those division and try to be united with Christ and that would make the devil upset to see us all united one hand one hand praying and praising the Lord the Messiah the Christ the Lord of everyone who every knee is going to bow down for him and time will come and those who don't accept the Messiah they will be sorry but at that time sorrow will not help you and prayer will not feed you time will come my friend and you will see the Lord coming with his glory and even in the Muslim cult the Messiah himself is coming back so don't you fear Muslims that the Messiah who is coming back he will say to you that Muhammad was a liar and what will happen then guess what think about it think about it and act right away before it's too late otherwise Muhammad cannot save you he is already in hell thank you may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon if I can tonight after a few hours take care